The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Didn't it used to change the color of the word when it said determination? What happened to that? No? No. no. Am I hallucinating? Oh, That's God! She waited for me. <laughs> <laughs> she waited there. Like, she watched me walk away and then just continued to sit there and wait for me to come back. <laughs> you should have come back wearing Temi armor. She'd be like, what the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like doing that grind bullshit. <laughs> no more running away. Here I come! Fucking. Wait, okay, you're already dead. Nah. Ungod! I love this fight. Like, honestly, this is probably one of my favorite fights. Undyne attacks. Uh, you told Undyne you didn't want to fight. Nothing happened. Okay, well, it's too soon for that then. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. So just you won't last moving. a second against me. Now I have to use a fucking shield. <laughs> really? That was riveting. What? Not bad. Then how about this? Riveting, you face undying. danger head on. Fuck, fuck, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> you move the shield. Yeah. Undyne bounces impatiently. I feel that. Why I see that. <laughs> For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Okay, please. Oh my. This gets so much harder. Don't be dreaming of no happy ending. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. <laughs> and now, sunlight is within our reach. I, I can tell you. Ever where the sunlight is. You just have to go to a hole in like, the seriously, ruins. Like, there's some flowers growing there. It's fucking great. <laughs> Undyne towers threateningly. I won't let you snatch it away from us. You can't snatch the sun, I, I can't take the whole sun, Undyne. God! It's not mine to take. Undyne thinks they were friends and pounds the ground with their fists. Don't do that. Ugh! Enough warming up. Now this should be getting much harder. Any second now. This no? Fuck. I forgot she lets me go and I have to move. <laughs> okay, flee. Escape! See ya, bitch! Hey, look, the ice! The ice is still with us. <laughs> oh, you're so fast, Undyne. Undyne, you won't get away from me this time. You, Why did you, you let say that? In the first place! Like, you say these things. Like, I'm just imagining she's throwing me a shield and at some point I'm just throwing it on the ground and leaving. No! I don't want to do this anymore! <laughs> Like, cause she wants a fair fight, like, she wants to fucking destroy me, but she wants it to be kind of fair. <laughs> Undyne flashes a menacing smile. I mean, her smile's always menacing, have you seen her teeth? Yeah. Killing you now is an act of mercy. No, it's not! I can show you what mercy's like! You're trying to. <laughs> this is nice. It's rather peaceful. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. It makes a little <laughs> satisfying dinging sound when it hits my shield, too. It's pretty great. I think she needs braces. No, she doesn't. Her teeth are fine. Uh. Please, okay. Fuck me. I always ice, fuck that up. Ice dodge. I'm so bad. So good. <laughs> Throw my shield on the ground. Run I've away. got better to do. What? <laughs> Welk. Welk. Whoop. Welk. You escaped me for the last time. You say these things, but here Stop I am. Stop taking the shield away, then. I mean, I'm just throwing it on the ground. <laughs> Fuck me, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is where it gets hard. <laughs> That's so great. I see now what I, I see now what she meant by that. Yep, I probably missed some dialogue. God damn, this is like playing one finger death punch. <laughs> Undyne bounces impatiently. You're gonna have to play that game. But I'm determined too! You're so determined, yet here I am. This way, and then this fuck shit fuck. Okay. Um. Okay, Undyne. Determined to end this right now. Undyne, please, for the love of God. Nope. Fuck. Denied. Okay, please. Stop right now. You say these things. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the sound I make. Why? Why? Undyne yeah. suplex is a huge jolt. <laughs> just because she can. Just because Huge she can. Jolder. Huge jolder. Because I can't fucking read. Right now! You're just like Papyrus, come on. Whoa! No one's just like Papyrus. <laughs> Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Yeah, you see. She does that a thing. lot. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop, Fuck. Whoop, Please. Whoop. Please. Okay, I have to eat something. This isn't happening. <laughs> You eat half of the bicycle. You recover 11 HP. No! Yeah. Die already, you little brat! No, love Whoa, me. Please, 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 please! No! <laughs> Fuck, I can't do this! Ah! Hey! <laughs> I finally did it! <laughs> <laughs> ah, welcome! 
to... No! Welcome to Hotland! Hey! Oh, it's you. Uh, hey! What's up? I was just thinking... <laughs> you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime! I think you would make great pals! Let's meet up at her house later! She's trying to kill me! I like how she waits patiently for you. She's really nice. <laughs> Stop running away! I think you need a heal. No, I keep running away. Oh, it's just, just fucking Lee. She doesn't give me a shield again. <laughs> Sans! Oh, fuck. I gotta go. Let's come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Look at that convenient water cooler. <laughs> There's a lava place in a with a <laughs> armor. So hot, yeah, I'd assume. But I can't give up. Mm. Fish sticks. I can't believe she just fucking died. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Hell yeah. You take a cup of water. There you go, Undyne. Give Undyne the water? Absolutely. Step on your face a bit, it's fine. <laughs> On her tongue. Yeah, taste my shoe. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, player. Mom says I gotta go home right now. <laughs> I just shit my armor, she can't know. And look, look at this shit. It sounds is probably sleeping behind the bench. <laughs> 3H, just like on the ground. What the fuck is that? Sure. Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. I, I feel like you could have gotten a drink at Waterfall, but I mean, times. maybe you should give him a cup of water. I can't. I already tried that before. It's tragic. But I'll take this water. See ya, bitch! Oh. Oh. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated, too. Oh, okay. Sure. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. I wouldn't really call this a laboratory. Well, there's I'd a really... lab. There's a lab right here. Oh, okay. I didn't see it the first time, either. I was just like, wait, what? what? This what is, is a volcano. Here? Yeah. Tra-la-la. I am the river man. You want to do his voice, sir? Or <laughs> it's the river non-binary. <laughs> Maybe they're gender fluid. <laughs> it's hey! not a river. Oh my god! I love to ride my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Absolutely. I need to go back to waterfall, and we're off. I'm gonna go hang out with Undyne. <laughs> Just because I can do that. <laughs> Angel is coming. Why are you talking about the prophecy? God, everyone is talking about prophecy today. Jesus Christ. God, I can't get a break from this prophecy bullshit. I'm trying to live my life. You know, I want to play a game where there's a prophecy, and then, like, everyone thinks you're the person of the prophecy, and then, and then it turns not. out it was just made up, and, like, halfway through it, it's just like, like, you've been following the prophecy for the first half, then you find out, just fuck it, go on your own path, and it's like, something completely different from the prophecy. God, yes. Oh, dude, I'm making a game just to do that. So tired of prophecies. Same. God damn. Alright, let's go up here. Papyrus! Alright, this is probably one of the Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Absolutely! Okay, stand behind me! I'm... I got stuck. <laughs> Psst. Make sure to give her this! She loves the- Is that a dog biscuit? That's a bone. <laughs> That's a cool door. That is a cool door. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Wink wonk. You bet I am! We got a bone. And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we... Mm. Mm. Ah. Why don't you two come in? 
Eat the fuck papyrus. <laughs> I love papyrus. <laughs> this is that window. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Uh... Thanks. I'll, uh... Put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! Away! <laughs> just fucking ollie oops out the goddamn window! <laughs> uh... So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me further with my strokes that I have quite often? Just walk up to her and hug her. Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Huh. Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Um, yes? <laughs> really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. Look, she's so nice. She's gonna love us later. I guarantee you. Oh yeah, you bet your sweet ass. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. Title drop. Song title drop, at least. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. <laughs> Dang! What a shame! <laughs> I thought Undyne could be friends with you! But I guess... I overestimated her! She's just not up to the challenge! Challenge?! What?! Papyrus, wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you?! <laughs> what a joke! I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day! I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just gonna be friends. We're gonna be... BESTIES! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> this is like... the perfect revenge. Can't think of anyone else. Oh my god. Oh god, Undyne. Oh my god, I love you so much. You're the only person I can think about anymore. It's ruining my life. Oh my god, Undyne, my love. Why don't you have a seat? It's playing the dating music. <laughs> fucking walk out the window. Just gone. One time, Alphys' uh, friend came over here. Uh, all he did was lie seductively on the piano and feed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Same. Was... <laughs> you you want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. Alphys. <laughs> and the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Come on! <laughs> this oven is some top of the line MTT thing, but you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Everyone can use magic here. Like it's just reach. What is this? How did this they lose the war? Oh no. <laughs> forks and spoons and knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Yeah, I keep those in my silver war door. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed up my fridge, so it heats up my food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! I would actually buy that. Same. Look at this giant sword. Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? She's clearly a fan of anime. Oh yeah. I can't, I can't ruin her. She thinks it's history. Uh, that is history. Alright, you're right. True. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. That sounds like a good date. <laughs> she figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? They're so gay, I love that it. That sword doesn't look ten times her size. It's not. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? <laughs> She's like patiently waiting as I just examine everything. I can't believe he left through the window like that. Yes. Normally, he nails the landing. Yes! <laughs> there you go, see. Sit down and progress. Yes, I think I've seen everything. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Alright, from the hot fridge. 
Oh. Oh, okay. You shouldn't put things on the stove like that. I don't... All set! What would you like? Is that just a... Oh... Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. This is intimidating. What were you saying? Excuse me, miss. You seem to have chucked a spear through your table. <laughs> I don't think she gives a fuck. Her window's broken, her table's fucked. It's fine. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Point to what I want? Alright. Uh, yes. All of my yes. Are you... Hitting on me? Yes. Yes, I am. Can I do it again? <laughs> she ain't no goat mom, but she's <laughs> fine for me. Mm, yeah. Oh, it's not gonna change again. Keep Please. going. Please. Stay Please. on target. Stay on target. I want nothing more than your fine fish ass. God damn it. Okay. Uh. Sugar, just straight up sugar. I oh. sure. Soda from the hot fridge. I don't want hot soda. Hot chocolate, green. Maybe so that's blue. That is, yep, that is definitely blue. What? Tea box, blatantly correct choice. All right, I mean. I think hot chocolate. It came out of the hot fridge. Oh, oh. what? What about the sword? Yes. <laughs> Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. Oh. Can you point to window? I want the entire fridge. The hot fridge. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! You're not <laughs> being very welcoming. Nine. I can't select the window. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, T-Box is the blatantly correct choice, though. That's why you don't choose it! Why would you have a tea box? Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered that container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Aw. <laughs> well, sickly yellow liquid does not sound appetizing, but sure. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's just- Wow! Wow, that's all right. I think soda's gross too. Yeah, I actually don't like soda that much. It rots your teeth. It rots your, teeth, rots your, it rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? Oh, look at her face. Kitty face. Probably because <laughs> Asgore likes it. Probably because Alphys likes it. <laughs> what about the sugar? Can we drink some sugar? Can we just drink straight sugar? I mean, I used to do that when I was a kid. That probably explains a lot. That's, that's, is the sugars for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? No, that doesn't even make sense. The human ice cream woman terrorize humanity with energy spears. I wish I lived in that world. Same. Are there ice cream songs? A prelude to destruction? Oh Can we answer? God. Can we answer? Yes. Oh my god. Oh yes! my god! Yes! What? Really? That rules! <laughs> now all ice cream men are actually preludes to destruction, so this I is the only option I have left. <laughs> They're like a cross between a dairy consultant and a Valkyrie. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy motherfuck, it's the ice cream truck. Alright. Tea, huh? Coming right up. This is my only fucking option! God. How are we holding the spear? I don't really know. I feel like she this said is it was an energy, energy spear. I don't know. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. And we wait. So, how's it going? I hope she'll make conversation. Oh! Oh, that didn't take long. <laughs> okay, this is done. Wow, it's already- Damn! Damn! Can you take the soda off the oven, please? That's really gonna bug me. Please, here we are. Uh, if that just slides down into the crack of the table. <laughs> That'd be really great. Careful, it's it's hot. I, I would assume. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You're telling me to wait? It's burning. Oh, take a sip of the tea and it burns your fucking mouth because you're like five. 
Other than that, it's pretty good. How are you supposed to know? You had no taste buds! Oh yeah, burned them all off. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! She says that with sarcasm now, but she is going to fucking love us. Yes. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. It was my only option! Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. He like, is a large goat man, and I am a small child with a plug face. Total weenies? We took an energy spear pretty damn Total well, lady. Weenies. Yeah, man, I took a lot of energy spears to the fucking face. Oh, sort of. my. She's gonna tell us her life story. The song changed. It's the really emotional song that makes me cry a lot, but you're here, so I'll be fine. <laughs> you know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. He haven't changed. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Yes. Emphasis on tried. I could, couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. Yeah, just like me. I was it's, so humiliated. It's a fighting style. It works, thank you. It fucking works, man. Eventually, you'll tire yourself out and I'll just walk away. <laughs> Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I should have read that in, like, a funny... Excuse pretentious. me. <laughs> Excuse me. I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. It, I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So, I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. <laughs> and you got beaten by a child. Hell yeah. Well, I didn't technically beat her, I just ran away. <laughs> you beat the shit out of her pride. I did beat the shit out of her pride. <laughs> like, uh, Papyrus. Obviously, Papyrus is the greatest warrior. <laughs> but, um, to be honest, I don't know if, uh, I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. You got that right. I mean, yeah. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead and dating me. Because we're fucking adorable. <laughs> My little plug face. <laughs> I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. It's true. <laughs> That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, the emotional music finally stopped, thank god. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more, please don't. Oh. Oh, oh okay, there Wait we go. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it... YOU'LL HAVE TO HAVE IT FOR HIM! What fucked up logic is that? And the most intense battle music just fucking started again. Excuse me! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! Oh. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Okay, <laughs> that's out. not how that works. Let's start with the sauce. Don't get saucy with oh. me. What? That's a banana. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to the dust with your fists. Can you hug them? How will you pound? Wimpy. Wimpy. <laughs> you pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god! Stop petting the enemy! I bet if you patted these vegetables, you would be on a genocide run. <laughs> Oh my god, it instantly changed me to a genocide <laughs> No, it just undoes all my progress. Papyrus suddenly falls over dead. All of the dogs are dead. <laughs> Everything I've ever fought just drops dead. <laughs> Holy shit. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh. Did you tap the thing first? <laughs> They're all gone. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... What is this house? <laughs> I think she has everything in like little trap doors that are just somehow... Stomp accessible? 
Yeah, she has little buttons on the floor that she doesn't talk about. She just makes it look dramatic. <laughs> we add the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest. I read that in a Skeletor voice. Female Skeletor, like, that's part yeah! of the super villain thing. <laughs> uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely? Carefully. <laughs> Separate each noodle from the pack. You place the noodles in one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> they clank against the empty bottom. Nice! Alright! Now it's time to stir the pasta! As general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it! Quick time event! Oh my god, I, it actually is! Stir harder! Harder! I'm just tapping it lightly. Harder! I'm just gonna stop. Ugh, let me do it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh! That's uh, not stirring! Ah! It's ah! Tapping. That's the stuff! Alright! Now for the final step! Oh man, no wonder Papyrus is getting you so fucking bad. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's almost edible. It's almost edible, you're right. Turn up the heat! Let the stove's top stabilize your passion for my having a stroke. Let your hopes and dreams, title drop, turn into fierce burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Okay. Twice to the right. <laughs> Can I, is that it? Can I, can I stop? No? Alright, turn it all the way up. Fuck it. <laughs> uh. Hotter! I'm just spinning this knob. Hotter! Darn it! I'm, I'm go oh my god, I went as far as I could. See? This is how you- oh. I think we just obliterated her house. We did. How often does this happen in our home? I don't know. Ah. Man. I wonder if Papyrus sucks at cooking. Like, the song just stopped, and it's just the sounds of a roaring fire. <laughs> Papyrus does not suck at cooking! Have you heard Sans? It's almost edible now! Well, I'm pretty sure Sans will eat just about anything. <laughs> so what's next? Uh, scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Hails to the yeah. Oh, uh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? What are you talking about? I can't force you to like me, human. You already have. I fucking love Undying. <laughs> Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. Okay, now we need a button to hug her. Come on! And if we can't be friends, that's that's okay. Quick because hug. if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! Motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. You didn't fail. To be that's fair, it. that was all her fault. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch! All, on, all out on both sides! It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on! Hit me with all you've got! Nah! Anan is letting you make the first attack. Well, obviously, go straight to the spare. Show me what you got! Oh. Mercy. Do your worst! Mercy. <laughs> What's the matter? Scared? Terrified. She Mercy. might throw another spa a spear at you. What the hell's the holdup? Mercy. <laughs> Come on already! Mercy. It's getting hot in here. To be fair, your house is on fire. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's not gonna change dialogue anymore. Alright, I gotta actually Ish. do something. Don't I attack. Don't fight her. I don't wanna fight Look at her. act. Yeah, you right, you right. Fake attack! <laughs> you pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? You're my best friend! <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... Saccharine. Thank you. Stick, but... The way you hit me right now, it hurt me. Reminded Cut me, me of deep. someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. It's just like him. Thanks. <sighs> Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. Fluffy buns. But, fluffy buns. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. 
I'm sure you can persuade him into letting you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. Like someone on a genocide run. You can see through her stuff. ears. Oh shit, you're right. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. Does she have holy ears? They're supposed to be like different colors, but I guess like for the laziness factor, this didn't fill in those pixels? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Flaming gay? Oh my god. Well, that was fun, huh? How did she pay for this? I don't know. We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, well, I mean, she is head of the Royal Guard. I feel like she gets paid pretty well. Somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. This is if only a great me. idea. <laughs> so if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk! No wonder that training dummy's so fucking psychotic. It's yeah. Undyne's training dummy. Well, I was gonna say the same shit. What, what, what? It's a living! Your house is on fire. So, uh, since I can... Nope. <laughs> ring, ring, motherfucker! That's Undyne's house! It's a great place to... Ah! Uh... <laughs> yeah! That's my house! Hi, Undyne! How'd you get here so fast? I ran! Wowie! <laughs> Undyne! Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you! <laughs> she ran all the way there just to be there for when I called. Look, look, the house is crying. Yeah. <laughs> the saddest of houses. I thought, like, Napster's house was sad. This no. house isn't crying. This house doesn't cry. It's also like not I... on fire. You're right. Ring, ring. That's Napster's house. They kind of keep to theirself, but that's a good ghost. I try to be a good neighbor, but I think they're scared of me. Come on, what's scary about a good-natured invite to wrestle? You can't it's wrestle a with a ghost, thank yeah, you. You, you should save. We should save. Man. Just in case something goes horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. <laughs> You're built with determination. Wrong. Uh, yeah. That's almost been 300 minutes. <laughs> I, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Jazz. We want to keep going, or...? Uh... We should probably stop here. It'd be good for, like, what? One episode? Huh. Something. It, it's <gasps> 7 o'clock. Cat boat! Why does it have a cat? Oh, did it cat always boat. have a cat face on it? No. Cat boat! I'm gonna go back to Hotland. Oh... <laughs> but Hotland was that way. I know. Tammy Village. The room before the dark. Well, fuck this motherfucker's the one that tells me that. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I already found it. I already found it. Suck my ass. Inhale my goat. Inhale my dung, the enragement child. Come again sometime. Cha la la. Okay. Right. Welcome back to Hotland. I guess we can save this for next time. We can go in the lab and you can see the sexy. lab. It's pretty great. It's a sexy lab. <laughs> it's a fucking nerdy ass lab. I love it. <laughs> All right, calling it a wrap. Yeah, I suppose. Alrighty, Rue. Oh, this one, fucking weenie.